Good morning. It's Thursday morning, and um, we're pre-recording these. We're on Psalm 110. The Lord says to my Lord, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. The Lord sends forth from Zion your mighty scepter. Rule in the midst of your enemies. Your people will offer themselves freely on the day of your power in holy garments. From the womb of the morning, the dew of your youth will be yours. The Lord has sworn and will not change his mind. You are a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. The Lord is at your right hand. He will shatter kings on the day of his wrath. He will execute judgment among the nations, filling them with corpses. He will shatter chiefs over the wide earth. He will drink from the brook by the way. Therefore, he will lift up his head. Well, well, well. Um, some psalms are almost incomprehensible, aren't they? This one, I think the way to understand something like this is to say, well, I mean, David is saying, it is a psalm of David. He's saying, God says to my Lord. So who would be his Lord? He's the king. So his Lord would be um, God. And the Psalms are often interpreted in some traditions as uh, speaking to or about Jesus, the second person of the Trinity, the incarnate Christ. And if you read it that way, it begins to make more sense. If this is the Father speaking to the Son and saying, I'm going to give you all this power and everybody is going to, to um, wreck themselves on the rock of your power or... Perhaps they'll worship, serve you. Um, and when you get to lines like, you are priest forever after the order of Melchizedek, I mean, that is quoted a couple times in Hebrews about Jesus. So it makes sense for the psalm to be to or about Jesus. Uh, the um, Melchizedek is a, is a strange, mysterious fellow who turns up in oh, where is it, like Numbers or somewhere? And um, just once or twice, and, and Melchizedek means something like holy king, so it's not clear just who he is anyway. He's just this mysterious priest that they, uh, who worships God, and they meet him in the, in the wilderness. Well, anyway, um, it becomes a kind of symbol in the scripture for a, a certain sort of priest who is, uh, who there is no priest higher than him, put it that way. Um, and so God will do all these wonderful things. Well, if God is going to do wonderful things for Jesus, God is going to do wonderful things for people who worship and serve Jesus, and that's us. So I think we can count on God to to do wonderful things and to be, to be good to us. Um, and I think that's what David's getting at here in the psalm. That's what I want you to think about today. God is good. No matter how difficult life seems, no matter how many enemies come after you, God's there. God's got them. God's got you. Don't worry. All right? Let's take that for today, and um, we'll see you tomorrow.